Good morning, guys. Um, happy Wednesday. Today, we are going to be starting a new topic. And if you've not already looked at the materials, our new topic is about time. Now, when we, um, when we talk about time, we're going to be looking at two different ways to tell time. So one way is using a clock like this. Now, this is similar to the clock we have in the classroom um, above the wall or on the wall by the door. Um, this is called an analog clock. So an analog clock has an hour hand, the short hand, and it has a minute hand, the long hand. So anytime the minute hand is on the 12, we say whatever the hour hand points to o'clock. So this would be seven o'clock. Okay, um, and now as this minute hand goes around, and I'm trying to move, see, so you, or I'm trying to position it so you can see. If you look inside that clock, it shows you that as that hour, or as the minute hand moves, so does the hour hand. But the hour hand moves a lot slower than the minute hand. Okay, so if I keep going, it will keep moving. So they work together. Um, today, you have three things to do. Number one, you have your vocabulary cards, which I'm going to go over with you in just a second. Number two, you have review what you know. Uh, that's just the sheet that goes over our last topic. And number three, make sure you watch the animated story about topic 13 time. So let's just go ahead and get started with our vocabulary cards. The first one is our hand. If you don't have this card already, go ahead and find it or make one yourself. And on the back, it says the hour hand is the short hand on the clock. So on my Judy clock here, and that's just what this is called, it's called a Judy clock, the short hand is the red hand. So the hour hand is gonna tell us what the hour is. So right now, this says eight o'clock, okay? If I move it, you guys help me out, you guys are awesome with time. What time is this. It is five o'clock. Good job. Um, before we go on, I forgot to mention another clock that we use, and this is one that you guys are going to be more familiar with. It's called a digital clock. A digital clock, um, you don't have to you don't have to look at it and see what the time is. It just it just straight up tells you. So a digital a digital clock would be like on your phone. And I, I'm sorry you can't see that it's blurry uh, from the glare on a computer screen, um, on your appliances at home. My microwave and my stove both have digital clocks on them. Um, your cars, some cars have digital, some clocks have analog clocks. So it could go either way, but you you will see if you look around your house. I think you'll find both types of clocks. And a lot of watches have um, analog clocks on them, but a lot of, or some watches also have digital, so I have both. Okay, so we just said hour hand is the short hand, and it tells you what the hour is. The next one is minute hand. So go ahead and find this card, minute hand. It says the minute hand is the long hand on the clock. Okay, the minute hand is the long hand on the clock. And let's look back at our clock. So right now, this tells me that it is five o'clock. So five, and if I wrote it, it would be five dot dot zero zero. Every time this minute hand moves, it goes up by one. So if I'm on this first tick mark, and I don't know if you can see that, see, if I go from here to here, I moved one tick mark. So that would be 501. If I move again, that would be 502. 503, 504, and 505. And if I keep going, that pattern would continue until I get up to uh, all the way up here, which would be 559 and then after 559 it goes to the next hour which would be six o'clock 
Okay, our next vocabulary word we're gonna go over is hour. Now, one hour is 60 minutes. So an hour has 60 minutes. So if this, if this minute hand starts on the 12, it has to go all the way around and get back to the 12 for an hour to pass. So each clock every, for that minute hand, if you follow the minute hand from wherever it starts, when it gets back to that spot, it's been one hour, it's been 60 minutes. So the back says there are 60 minutes in one hour. I know that looks like an I at the bottom, but that is a one. So there are 60 minutes in one hour. Okay, our next vocabulary word is minute. And it says 60 minutes is one hour. So just like um, an hour is 60 minutes, there are 60 minutes in one hour. So just kind of exactly what I just said. Um, from, wherever that, from wherever that minute hand starts, if it goes all the way around and it gets back to where it started at, that would be one hour. That would be 60 minutes. Okay, so there are 60 minutes in one hour. Now, this next word is o'clock. Now, when, when we're in the classroom and I say, um, and we, we're looking at our simple solution book, or, I, or we're looking at the clock, and I say, what time is it? If you see that, tw if you see the minute hand on that 12, you know it's gonna be something o'clock. So any time this long hand is on the 12, it means o'clock. And if you write it, when you write to, when you write to show o'clock, on a digital clock, you would write the hour, dot, dot, and then to show o'clock, you would write zero, zero. Or another way down at the bottom you could write it is the hour, and then just write the words o'clock. Now our simple solution book does it that way sometimes, so that shouldn't be, um, shouldn't be really foreign to you. You should kind of have an understanding, and you should see the digital too, because both of those are shown in single solutions. Um, so on the back it says three o'clock is read as three o'clock, and it just it showed you the digital version, and then it wrote it out for you. And our last vocabulary word that we're going to go over is half hour. So it says a half hour is thirty minutes. So right here, it shows the hour is between the one and the two. So that means we're, it's gonna be one, and then we look and it shows it's on the six. So if you look at your, if you look at my Judy clock, when we are on the six, let me change my clock. When we are on the six down here, so I changed mine to be in between the one and the two, and then to the two, the six down here. If it's on the six, it says, what is that number up there? 30. So a half hour is 30 minutes. And it, anytime it's, on, it's a half hour, it's gonna be on that 30, okay? So if it's um, 2.30, it's gonna be between the two and the three, the hour hand is, and the minute hand will still be on the six. All right. Um, make sure you do the review what you know. Make sure you watch the animated story. And tomorrow we will be telling time to the hour. So that should be a really easy lesson. Uh, you guys will knock it out of the park. I know in homeroom, when we do anything with time, you guys are on it. You, you like to learn about time, especially with analog clocks. Um, so I really hope you impress your parents with what you know about clocks. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I miss you guys. Bye.